Hi, I'm Chris Kepler, and welcome to Does This Happen to You? I'm an actor, voice actor, audiobook narrator, and writer. I love reading, pondering, and sharing humorous stories about the freakish things that happen in everyday life. That's why this podcast features funny stories from fantastic writers about our daily aberrations, a micro-audio book about life and befuddlement just for you. Our story this week is from Adeline Dimond, who you'll find on Medium.com. And here is How to Make Out in a Camaro. I walked so you could run. If you are an American, some day you will go on a date and be asked to make out in a Camaro. You must say yes, because it's the law and you love your country. It's like the draft, but for everybody. No one knows when that day will come. For a lucky few, it will happen before they turn 30, when they are still bendy. My Camaro make-out day arrived a few days ago. I am 52 and was therefore concerned. Not only am I not bendy, I have frozen shoulder, a bad knee, and nerve damage from a bout of shingles I suffered through when I was 47, because you can't get the shingles vaccine before you turn 50, which is another stupid law. First, you must go on a date with someone who owns a Camaro. I suppose you can ask everyone who asks you on a date whether they own a Camaro, but I didn't do it that way. Instead, I spent a lifetime in toxic and immature relationships only to find myself single at 50. Then I spent about two years lying down. Then I told everyone I was never dating again. Then I had a weird affair that ended in June of 2022. Then I lay down again. Then I again announced I was not dating, but really meant it this time, because no one thinks women over 50 are fuckable, so why bother? Then I panicked. It was a free-floating panic about nothing and everything, and somehow my solution was to fire up a new dating app. And that's how I met Tony, who owns a Camaro. Our date almost didn't happen. Tony is in the fitness industry, which caused me to send a string of texts saying, You're going to hate me. I'm squishy. And... Look, you don't understand. I am basically a manatee, but with a manicure. Surprisingly, this didn't matter to him. I still don't understand why, but have decided that it's one of the things I'm not supposed to understand, like how I know exactly who's calling before I look at the phone. We went out on a Friday night. It was freezing for Los Angeles, close to 50 degrees. After being paralyzed by indecision about what to wear, I tossed all my rayon dresses in a pile and pulled on a pair of stretchy fake suede pants I got years ago at Costco. They are basically leggings, and I decided that I should be comfortable. This felt like a small rebellion, but against whom or what I couldn't say. What I didn't realize at the time is that fake suede stretchy pants from Costco are perfect for crawling around the inside of a Camaro, which is about the size of a fireplace. The Costco stretchy pants almost make up for their decision to discontinue their sheet cake. But that controversy shouldn't distract us from the most important thing about making out in a Camaro. Wear something comfortable. You will be bending yourself in ways your yoga teacher didn't know how to describe. Tony and I met at a whiskey bar in downtown Los Angeles. When I said I might order a martini, Tony helpfully pointed out that we were at a whiskey bar. Not cool enough to pretend that I could drink whiskey neat, I ordered a cocktail of whiskey and strawberry juice. I had three. Life is complex, and three whiskey drinks in the course of two hours is both a mistake 
and yet one of the best decisions I've ever made. By the time I was halfway through the third drink, I put Tony's hand on my belly, practically yelling at him, See? I don't work out. You're in the fitness industry. How is this ever going to work? In my drunken haze, I thought I was being ethical, my dating version of caveat emptor. But it made Tony laugh, which brings us to the second important thing about making out in a Camaro. You should both be a little drunk. You may be wondering, what about people who don't drink? I don't really know what to tell you. The question reminds me of one of my favorite online food influencers, Grossi Pelosi, who, when asked if he could make his famous vodka sauce without the vodka, responded, No, it's vodka sauce, honey. Somewhere between the second and third drink, I decided I wanted Tony to kiss me. This is the third requirement for making out in a Camaro, desire. This is a more elusive requirement than stretchy pants and booze because, as John Stuart Mill said, I'm paraphrasing here, you should learn to be happy by getting rid of your desires rather than trying to satisfy them. I don't know if John Stuart Mill knew that he would be a life coach for single women trying to date in Los Angeles when he said that, but boy, does that idea hit home. Dating is a cycle of delusional hope and predictable disappointment, and it's hard to get your motor running if you've been in the game too long, which brings me back to cars. By the time I was halfway through my third drink, the waitress told us they were shutting down the patio. I stared at her wordlessly trying to remember the last time I had stayed out until closing time. Was it never? I think it might be never. Tony was more in the moment, and soon he was helping me teeter to the parking lot, explaining that we should make out in his car while I waited for my Alto, a better, more sybaritic version of Uber, to arrive. I thought this was a pretty good idea. Then I saw his car, the Camaro, and decided it was a great idea. I am an unapologetic American exceptionalist. We are the best country in the world, even when we've lost our way. And there is something that is just so fuck yeah about purely American design. Looking at his dark gray Camaro, I felt the same way I feel about SEAL Team 6 a little scared they exist, and grateful at the same time. But I was soon reminded of something. For all its chutzpah, for all the cool stuff that comes from wild free enterprise, American design has a way to go. Scandinavians we are not. We somehow still can't figure out the elegant form follows function equation. But then again, what is the function of a Camaro? Camaros are big, a little over 15 feet long, or approximately three baby beluga whales long. But when I climbed inside, I felt like I was squishing myself into a tiny air shaft and suddenly realized that everything wrong with America is also wrong with the Camaro. Go deep inside, and there are serious systemic imbalances that make it hard for people to connect. It looks one way on the outside, but the experience on the inside is completely different. I know that someone is going to show up in the comments and helpfully explain that the big motor plus small interior is the requisite design for all sports cars. Because speed, vroom, 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 torque, physics. To that I counter, then what are sports cars for? because they clearly are not for getting girls to take off their pants, at least inside the car. And I'm pretty sure that's how they've been marketed, at least subliminally. In the teeny tiny inside of the Camaro is a parking brake. 
it is the size of a rifle because the Camaro was a stick shift, the rifle slash brake was pulled up, placing it at a 90 degree angle between us. Then there are the bucket seats, which are approximately one centimeter from the ground. I am five foot one inch tall. In theory, to see over the rifle slash parking brake, I would have to leap or bounce from my seated position in the bucket seat, and even the best yoga teacher can't teach you that. But the rifle slash brake didn't seem to deter Tony, and when he leaned over to kiss me, I thought, he's done this before. He must know a way around the rifle. But he didn't know. So I had to stretch my leg out and do sort of a side plank by anchoring my foot on the car floor and then lifting my body from the side while anchoring my arm on the seat. Every time I moved my leg or arm, the whole enterprise fell apart, our faces no longer in the same vicinity. I started to think about the Camaro designers and whether they were total idiots or sadists in search of a laugh. I often wonder the same thing about the people who designed the parking garage at the UCLA Medical Center in Westwood. Whether they are incompetent or simply cruel for sport, neither option is comforting. Assuming the Camaro designers were sadists, I started to see the elegance of the joke. Design the outside of the car to make women swoon, but once they're in the car, make them feel like a lumberjack with mobility problems. Sensing my discomfort, Tony suggested disengaging the rifle slash parking brake while keeping his foot on the regular brake so he didn't roll into oncoming traffic. He told me this plan during a break from kissing while we were both safely back in our individual bucket seats. While he spoke, we both tried to act natural, even though there was a rifle slash brake cutting a diagonal line between us. We tried this plan, but making out while keeping a Camaro from rolling into the street is difficult, so Tony came up with another solution. We would both get out of the car he would get in the passenger seat, and then I would also get in the car. He didn't expand on what also get in the car meant, so my legal training kicked in and I sought to clarify. Do you mean I get on top of you, on the passenger seat? Sure, he said, like the whole thing had been my idea. Then he got in the passenger seat and reclined it. I reconsidered Camaro designers. Maybe they were geniuses after all, because I was about to climb on top of a guy I had met only three hours before. If you know anything about rhinoceroses, you know that they charge at things that scare them. I had a rhino vibe when I climbed on top of Tony, but I don't think he noticed. I was in fact scared, not of Tony, because he was proving to be exceptionally sweet. But if you're used to living in your bed 80% of your life and suddenly find yourself standing in a parking lot in Little Tokyo at 1 a.m. with a Camaro door open at your knees and a man smiling at you while he reclines the passenger seat, one of the emotions you will feel is fear. I charged folding myself into the tiny air shaft interior and got on top of him. But I couldn't sit or even straddle uh, him because, again, the inside of a Camaro is the size of an Amazon box. So I perched. I perched on top of Tony, my Costco fake suede stretching pants rising to the occasion. In between kissing, I loudly predicted that we were going to get arrested and my life was going to end, which he must have found very hot. Then my phone chirped, telling me that my Alto driver had arrived. We walked around the corner to meet him. I had the presence of mind to ask the driver to meet me in front of a hotel and not a random parking lot. 
Tony gave me a hug, announcing that the hug must last for at least 20 seconds. I had survived a lot by this point, but I couldn't survive hugging Tony for 20 seconds while the Alto guy averted his gaze and held the door open for me. Sorry, I can't do this, I said, hoping that Tony understood. Understood, he laughed, giving me one last squeeze. After I was safely in the Alto SUV, which I did not have to squish into, the driver turned to me and said, Great date, huh? I hope so, I responded, still dazed. He smirked. Well, he looked happy. I thought about Tony and what a good kisser he was. I wondered if he was going to text me and whether I had passed the Camaro test. I gave myself some credit for my perching abilities. After driving silently for ten minutes, I blurted out, He has a Camaro! As if that was somehow meaningful, as if it explained something about Tony, but also the world that I didn't understand, as if it were a password to somewhere I had never been. Does he? The driver asked, looking at me in the rearview mirror. Cool cars, but they make no sense. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed this story, let me know and share it with your friends. Follow me at Chris Narrates on Twitter or Chris K. Kepler on Facebook or check out my website, chriskepler.com. <laughs>